In this episode, join me as I will take the local bus from Tamel to Shapribesi where the air gets fresher every kilometer away from the hustle and bustle of Kathmandu. This day takes me one step closer to reaching my dreams which was to hike the Tamang Heritage and Langtang Valley Trek. So sit back and enjoy the episode. Good morning. Uh, I ordered a, a patao, which is a motorbike service, and uh, I'm ready to go to a uh, Langtang Valley. You can't see me now, but oh, you can see me now. Hi, hi. Let's go, baby. <laughs> As I sat on the motorcycle as a passenger, I felt the cold breeze against my face. I was both excited and anxious at the same time as today was THE day. I had to leave the hotel at 5am because I was afraid of not securing a spot in the bus to Langtang Valley. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Is this heading to Langtang Valley? Yes. Langtang Valley? Langtang Valley? Langtang. Langtang? Shapri Besi. Langtang. Shapri Besi. No, no. No, not here. Okay. This was going Langtang. Okay, thank you so much. Kanya what? Huh? Langtang Valley. You have ticket? No tickets. This is normal normal bus? Red bus. How much? Yeah. Nine fifty. Nine fifty. Okay. Um. Do you also go to Gatlang straight away? Yeah, yeah. How much is it, Gatlang? Gatlang. Yeah. Gatlang nine fifty. Like Gatlang another one. Hundred and one. Ah. I'll go to. You want to go Shapurbeshi or Gatlang? Ah, Gatlang. Gatlang. You want to go Gatlang, huh? That's right. Gatlang. Gatlang, then what? Gatlang, nine forty. Six hundred and ninety. What was it? Three six hundred. How about in the last seat? Daniel, what? What time does it move? Uh, Thank you so much. Six. six this was six twenty. Thank you so much. Sorry, excuse me. Ah. Sorry, thank you. Daniel, what? This one. What? Okay, which one? Anywhere? This one. This one. This one? Yeah, yeah. At the back. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Alhamdulillah. <sighs> so, uh, I got the tickets, obviously. But um, the bus departs at us at um, 6.20 and right now it's only uh, 5.41. Well, better one hour early than uh, delaying for one whole day, right? <laughs> Finally, the bus was leaving. I was seated next to a very kind couple, Resam and Sonam. They mentioned a few places for me to check out in Kathmandu once I completed my hike. I got to learn a lot about Nepali culture with them. For example, 
A big portion of the Nepali GDP comes from foreign remittance. It is not uncommon to hear a lot of young Nepali pursuing the careers outside of their countries to support themselves and their families. I told them that in my lifetime, I hope to see the numbers decrease so that fewer people will leave their families just to earn higher incomes abroad. I'm in a stop now where I just had lunch. Oh. I had another momo again <coughs> because that's the only non filling things. So we are going back to the bus. I happen to be the only foreigner in the bus. Despite the roads being very bumpy, a lot of locals have gotten used to it and were able to fall asleep. I tried to sleep but I could not, so I just enjoyed the scenic view instead. Anyway, notice how the views get relatively better as we were nearing the valley. I forgot to take pictures or videos, but we have arrived at Shapribesi after almost 8 hours of journey. I said my goodbye to Resam and Sonam. Everyone who boarded the bus from Kathmandu has disembarked, leaving only me behind. I was now the sole representative from the city, now surrounded by the Tamang people. Honestly, I felt a little bit intimidated because this was the dream I had been waiting for. So, uh, it's about two more hours to uh, Gatla. I'm in the bus now, so the journey is going to take some time. If I reach Gatla by five, that will mean I'm already in the uh, bus for like 11 hours already. <laughs> The bus stopped at every small village to pick up people and goods. The road was very dusty. It was impossible to prevent the dust from entering the bus. Take a look at this picture. Sorry that it's blurry. The roads were just very, very bumpy. <laughs> Okay.
As you can see, three kids in the picture. <laughs> As the bus kept moving and honking at every corner. The sun was slowly setting, casting a warm orange glow to the snow-capped peaks. I could just stare at the mountains and started tearing up. I kept telling myself, Clarence, the mountains, it's been waiting for you. I finally reached Gatlang not knowing that it was Gatlang. It was pitch dark around 6 to 7 pm. The driver just looked at me and gave me the sign, hey, this is our last stop. That's when I knew. I took my backpack and hiked for a bit to the nearest guest house. Okay, sure. You show me to my room first? Oh, sorry. I will just use one bed because I'm alone. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everybody. I finally check in to Gatlang. This is how the room looks like. Sorry, I don't think I can show you properly, but yeah, this is how it is. Hello, welcome to Gatlang. It is very quiet out here. It's like you can't literally hear anything at all. That's how quiet it is. Shortly after leaning my backpack in the room, I met two hikers from Canada. We had dinner together in the common room to warm ourselves up. The air was cold. Two more, right? Two more, sister. Oh, two more. No more. No more, okay. No more. I remember. Yeah. We sang country songs together. Here goes. The devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. Because he wasn't fine. Because he was way behind. He was willing to make a deal. And when he came across this young man saving on a fiddle and playing in a hot. And the devil jumped on a dog with his thumb. But boy, let me tell you what. I guess he didn't know, but I'm a fiddle player too. And if you care to take a dare, I'll make a bet with you. Now you play a pretty good fiddle boy, but give the devil his deal. I bet a fiddle, a fiddle of gold, gold against, against your soul because I, I think I'm better, better than, than you. you. <laughs> we talk a lot and laugh a lot. I can only oh really God. understand French when someone's speaking with an English accent. So it's like um, Emily and accent kind of French. Yeah. 
Bonjour. <laughs> so, like, if a native speaker speaks it to me, I have a really hard time understanding it. But I can read French, okay. Okay, all right. So, um, if I can speak, if I can talk to you in French right now, would you understand? Uh, I doubt it. Do you know French? Do you comprends quoi? Oui. Que... Oh, oh la la. <laughs> I even danced to a Nepali song. I tried the wine made by the host themselves. Oh, I think one is enough. <laughs> Memory. Mmm, <laughs> good. It tastes like uh, soju. Yeah, yes, yes. Like soju. Soju, yes. I went back to my room and started packing for tomorrow. As tomorrow, my solo adventure will begin. Okay, it's time to get some sleep. Good night. I'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to my small YouTube channel.